everyone and welcome back to a, another video. Today I am filming the full face using dollar store makeup challenge and I'm scared but also really excited because I got a lot of cool stuff. Like I'm going to show you guys in the video but a lot of the stuff looks actually really promising. Like I even got dollar store brushes. I got this little set of brushes that costed like $12 and there's like Wait, was it $12? I think it was $12 and there's like 14 brushes in here or something so that makes each of these like less than a dollar which is crazy. So yeah, and these actually look really, really good. Let me show you guys. Yeah, look at like the quality of these brushes. They're so soft. They look like Morphe brushes, honestly. But like these were like less than a dollar which is insane. So I'm gonna be using dollar store brushes too. And I got a dollar store beauty blender. So I came prepared guys. I got all of this stuff off of this website called Shop Miss A. There's like a section on that website where you can just shop all like dollar store products, which is where I went shopping and I got a box full of crap. So let's dig in. Let's jump right into it. So I'm first going to go ahead and wet the speed water and I'll be right back because I forgot to do so and... I do have a face primer, so this is the Muse Color Correcting Face Primer, which is anti-redness. And it says it's a makeup-based, oil-free, healthy look. So I'm just going to apply this to my fingers. I really hope I don't break out from this video because you girl literally just got a facial like a week ago. So I really don't want to fuck up my skin again. Thank you so much. This smells interesting. It literally smells like mosquito like bug spray. Amazing. Yes, what I look for in a primer. Feels a little bit tacky. Nothing too crazy. Who knows, maybe this will end up like working out and all these products end up actually doing really well. But it does feel pretty tacky on my skin, so that's good. Okay, so now foundation. I did get two foundations. Also, I'm sure none of these products are going to match me because it's really hard to tell online and all these products are a dollar. Like the shade range is obviously not going to be amazing. But I got two, so I got this LA Colors Liquid Makeup Foundation. And then I got this Muse Flawless Liquid Foundation. I think I'm going to go for this one. Yeah. So, I'm going to take this on my Beauty Blender. Actually, I really want to see if this Beauty Blender works because it's only a dollar. And, like, Beauty Blenders are so expensive these days. So, I just... Probably be pretty good. Once again, the fragrances in these products are so strong. It's literally, like to the point where it's like not appealing and I don't want to put this on my face like it smells so strong okay I take that back this coverage sucks like you can still see everything through this foundation it's literally just like giving my skin like a color to it it's not even covering anything but it's like oxidizing and looking really bad I'm gonna work fast with this foundation I should probably like stop talking but oh my god I literally look crazy this foundation is so patchy and it looks like greasy and just it still feels like so sticky like so sticky foundation should not be this sticky and like wet feeling <laughs> so for concealer I got this Santee two-in-one concealer and foundation comes with a little concealer one so I don't know how somebody can use this as foundation if they like wanted to but I'm just gonna do like one side of the face first because I don't know how dry this thing fat I don't what I don't know how fast this thing dries so I'm just gonna work on quickly Okay, to be honest, the beauty blender isn't like that bad. I will say it does soak up a lot of product, but like for a dollar, it's really not like the worst beauty blender dupe I've ever tried. I've tried much worse, trust me. Okay guys, I'm like really trying, but like these face products are so bad. See how patchy this foundation is? Oh my God, I'm gonna break out so bad from this, I already know. I'm gonna like take the concealer under my jaw because It'll help match my neck more, I guess. I don't know. Okay, you know, I'm so over this foundation concealer. Like, there's just no way I'm gonna, like, blend this out and actually make it look good. So, I'm over that. Let's move on to powder. This one I got for bronzing. This one I got to set. Hopefully, this has, like, coverage so it'll actually, like, help with this foundation situation. So, let's grab one of these brushes that I bought. And here, this is the AOA Studio F13 brush. By the way, I'll have all this stuff linked down below if it's still online, obviously. I bought this stuff a few weeks ago, um, so I don't know if all this stuff is still going to be like available or anything, but I'll try my best to link it for you guys. But yeah, I'm going to take this brush. Oh no, it smells so chemically and gross. Ugh. Let's just go for it. Whatever. Oh wow, coverage not bad. Smell awful. I mean, I'll just take this like all over my face just so I have like an even tone, you know what I mean? But this powder is actually so good. Wow. Look at how it just helped my nose so much. I'm going to do my forehead now. Actually, let's just do my chin so you guys can see. 
like wow the color is so good holy shit what the hell this is such a good powder okay forehead this coverage is amazing oh i didn't even read the name to you guys this is the malibu glitz face powder that's what it looks like i got the shade what is this this is this doesn't have a shade okay it doesn't have a shade okay okay so let's move on to the bronzer for now so i got this blush and bronzer like little duo type of thing but this bronzer looks a little too orange so i'm gonna use this face powder that i got which is the same malibu glitz one i got it in like a darker shade so i think i'm gonna use this for a bronzer and i'm gonna use the highlighter in this one so i'm gonna take this aoa studio f20 brush which looks like this wow i'm literally so impressed by these powders because the coverage is so good and they're like blending like so well and they just look so good like what is in this god damn for only a dollar are you kidding the shade is a little bit orange but like i'm okay with it you know i'm like totally fine with it i got these two um muse duo kits with like blush and highlight in them and they're actually like really popping highlights like i'm kind of shook so this highlight looks a little bit too yellow for me let me swatch it so i'm gonna go in with this one and the other kit which looks like this. <laughs> wow, bitch. Do you see that? It's like a really pretty like champagne gold one. Uh, do I have a brush for this? I hope so. I did get like this giant fan brush, but like imagine like trying to highlight your face with that. No, thank you. Not today, sir. So I'm gonna use this one. It's like a foundation brush, but like I'm sure it'll work. It's fine. It's fine. I'll make it work. You know what I mean? So this is the F15. Oh, bitch. Are you seeing this? The dollar store like really fucking did that. Wow, I'm shook. Yeah, I got a little too excited, guys. I'm trying to turn it down, but let's move on to the blush now. I'm also just gonna use that other kit. I'm taking this blush shade. Okay, wow, that's really big. <laughs> I don't know what's in these little kits, but like the pigment and intensity is like wow. I'm gonna use that little concealer that I used on my face as a base for my eyeshadow. Thank you. So I'm just gonna set the lids now with that face powder. So I got a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. These are all from Clean Color and they look like this. So this first one, they all like have the same packaging pretty much. This one is from Clean Color. I don't know what it's called, but it's really pretty. So here's the next one. This is like all shimmer colors, but the first one was like all matte shades. The last one is another all matte and it's all neutral colors. So I also got some $1 brushes, just like randomly the ones that, these aren't like in the kit that I ordered or anything. So I got an e.l.f. $1 brush. This is the blending eye brush. I'm gonna use this for my crease because like there's no good crease brushes in this little set or whatever. So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna dip in with this e.l.f. brush. This is just the e.l.f. crease brush. And I'm gonna take this color. So I'm taking that first shade and I'm just gonna pull it into my crease. This color is not showing up whatsoever. It literally just left like a gray kind of cast. I don't know if it's too light. So I'm gonna go with a different one. I'm gonna go in with, oh, I almost dropped it, okay. I'm gonna go in with this one because it looks a little bit darker. Oh my God, okay, none of these have pigment. I'm gonna go in with this shade in this other palette. Just like an eggplant deep color. Maybe the darker colors are gonna be more pigmented. I don't know, we'll see. Nope, still nothing. But yeah, so far these eyeshadows are awful. The pigment is non-existent. So I'm going in with this color right here. So this is gonna go in my crease and on my lid. I don't know what I was expecting <laughs> from these eyeshadows. I was kind of like excited and hoping they would be good because they look good, like they look promising and they swatched kind of good. So I was like, oh, okay, sure. But like, no, using your finger helps when you're doing your lid. Why did this turn into like the no brushes challenge? Like real quick, look, I'm literally blending with my finger right now. Okay, I got two eyeliners. I got one of these, this is like a little bear. And then I got this one. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. Okay, actually this wand is like a Bad ass wand, so I'm not gonna use that. I can't do a wing with like a wand that big, so I'm gonna use this one. This is the Jari Waterproof Eyeliner. Okay, it has the exact same wand as the other one, but like whatever, okay. This wand is like gigantic. I don't know who can do like a wing with this, but sure, whatever, I'm doing it. Okay, this is drying insanely fast. So for mascara, I got this one. This is the LA Colors Volume Volume Lash Mascara. Okay, weirdly, this reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Is that like the craziest thing? Wow, it literally reminds me of that mascara. That's actually kind of crazy. My face is so orange. I look disgusting. <laughs> so I got four pairs of lashes. All of them are from this brand called Cara. Um, I got three pairs of the 523 lashes and I'm kind of confused because every single one of these looks different and they're the exact same style of lashes. Like, look at this. They all look different. 
focus please is it just me like they all look different to me i don't know if it's just me they remind me of ardella wispies but let's go ahead and pop on these lashes they've been drying for a little bit so i'm gonna pop them on Okay, wow, these lashes are not half bad at all. You could stack them, but I don't have the patience to stack them right now. Like, I'm so over this video. My face feels disgusting. I'm literally about to, like, hop in the shower and take this off before I break out. So now, last thing are the lips. I got these two. They literally don't have a brand name on them. Oh my god, what? Where is this from? There's literally just, like, a picture of, like, a woman on it, and there's no name. This one or this one? Oh my god, it smells so good, holy shit. Oh my god, it smells like strawberries. They literally swatch exactly the same. Smell incredible though, like I'm so shit. So this is it, this is the final look. I'm actually kind of impressed. I was expecting like a train wreck, but the foundation and concealer were definitely the worst. Eyeshadow, probably one of the worst. Eyeliner wasn't that bad. Eyelashes were amazing. Highlight is amazing. Uh, powder, amazing. Lip color is drying like a nice formula, but the color is not cute, I don't like the color. Honestly, go pick up that powder, go pick up that highlighter and go pick up these lashes from that dollar store because imagine how much money you could save on lashes just buying these like and like stacking them they're only a dollar like are you kidding me are you kidding me so like i mentioned in my last video on sunday i will be doing weekly giveaways now from now on i think i'm just gonna ship the products straight to the winner's house so like when i order off sephora or something i'll just ship it to their house instead of like ordering it to my house and then shipping it to them like it'll i feel like it'll be like faster to just like type in their address so it goes straight to them. So the items I'll be giving away are an Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. This one is mine. Um, I take this everywhere when I travel. It's one of my favorite palettes, so I'm gonna give away it to one of you guys. Um, obviously, I'm not giving away this one. I'm gonna order it and like ship it to your house. I'm also gonna give away a glow kit of your choice. So it's like your pick. You can pick whatever glow kit you want. To enter, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you're new and you wanna enter the giveaway, you have to subscribe to my channel, otherwise you won't be able to win. You also have to like this video and turn on your notifications. So right next to the subscribe button down below, there is a little bell button next to the subscribe button. And basically when you hit that, your notifications will be on so that every time I upload, you'll know every time I upload, basically. So, so to win today's giveaway, you have to comment your favorite song at the moment. So yeah, there's four rules to enter as always. So subscribe, like, turn on your notifications, and comment down below what your favorite song is at the moment. If you guys want more challenges like this, make sure to leave a comment down below which one you guys want me to do and I will do it. You guys know I got you. I'll do whatever you guys request. Um, I feel like I look so crazy right now. So I'm gonna go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, all that. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.